And here you can see how proper wearing should look like, down with the Colonia Senza three years in a row, made by Alberto Morillas and François de Machi back in 2007. It's a good warm weather fragrance, a brilliant to wear if you dress up a bit more, it has that typical Aqua di Parma citrus notes on the top, with very prominent ginger accord, with equally grounded woods. Very clean fragrance in terms of scent profile, mostly for formal occasion. It's always something that you can wear all year round. The performance is moderate, the projection is very solid um, considering the Aqua di Parma cologne. Performance is very solid for first couple of hours. Daytime, nighttime, doesn't matter, two or three sprays are fair enough. What I admire about these uh, Aqua di Parma colognes is the touch of the traditional classiness and the barbershop vibe. The main players here are ginger, spices and touch of the cardamom. Uh, middle notes are Artemisia neroli that is very prominent here. Base notes are cedarwood, benzoin that is very prominent and musk. When I compare it with uh, 1725, I rather prefer the 17, uh, 1725 because it's more rounder to me. Aquari Parma has that more synthetic uh, presence of the citrusy note that is typical for the Aquari Parma. I think, I personally think that it is much more modernized, the original Colonia version that has that retro vintage vibe. But this is much more for all year round and for almost for any occasion. It's not overpowering, dictates that classiness. I'm just telling it that I worn very often, very appropriate for the business meetings and any kind of the thing, Italian type of citruses. If you, if you like that scent profile and these type of scents, try Aquari Parma Colonia Intensa that is well known. Let me know if you're familiar with uh, Aquari Parma colognes. How do you like them and what are your favorites from that colonial line? Until then, bye for now.